and welcome back to Read Readers, your host, Clinton. Read. Pardon the fact that I was like a mess. I thought I would do something a little different with my book haul this month. Anytime I get any new books, boxes, or any of that, I thought I would in books and unwrap and let you know what I'm getting in. Which, like I said in another vlog, which you'll see, because I'm doing a, every time I finish a book, I'll mention a vlog, and I mention this book and that, but I'll go ahead and mention that here. I got The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. I sold some books to half past book, and got some money, so I was able to get these like seven dollars and I was so excited because this is one of my most anticipated books of the year and it's just this pretty like color underneath you usually don't find that and I'm like ugh this involves uh Elizabeth Lavenza which I'm going to assume is the Elizabeth from the original Frankenstein book that, um, she's the one that ends up becoming the Bride of Frankenstein, so, yeah. Hopefully, maybe we'll get to this this month. And then, I got my first of many thrift book packages in the mail, and I wanted to unbox and show you the hardbacks that I got and which of the mass markets on my James Patterson show that will be replacing. Because two of my favorite series are the Alex Cross series and the Women's Murder Club. And I had half this mass market, half as hardback and blah blah blah. So I got on, whatchamacallit, thrift books, and I wanted to see if if I could get any of them in the hardback and the slave and the yada so let us see what the books are how many I've got here ooh I've got three right here is that it? is that it? Okay. ooh yay 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 ooh not bad quality so I like the stuff in the front, but whatever. I got, first off I got the first to the Women's Murder Club, which is first to die. But in this package I also got second chance, the second one. And because I've got the first one here, I'll read to you what the first one is. No, actually, no, I won't. Because I don't want to make these a vlog style like unboxing too big and yada yada but got it for three dollars I remember that three something the women's murder club follows I know Lindsay Foxer Claire follows a homicide inspector medical examiner a DA assistant and a, a news reporter and how they solve crimes together so I'll be replacing book one and two, which are right. I will be replacing books one and two, which y'all should see three through five soon. I also got part of the Alex Cross series, Kill Alex Cross, which, okay, again, is it just me or do you guys hate the fact that adult literature does that? Hardbacks are two different sizes, and I've only really ever discovered this with James Patterson, and then you've got John Sanford has it, John Grissom has it, like, can we talk about this? Like, yeah. 
Honestly, I don't. I don't. I just. I don't get the height thing that works. Irritate me at the high end. But that's all I've got to do today. Y'all will see my gorgeous face. Um, oh yeah. Kill Alice Cross is going to replace this mass market of Kill Alice Cross. So this can take it back. But that's all I've got today. I will see you in the next vlog style unboxing. But I would do that for this month and get y'all thoughts and see what you guys think about me doing this. Oh, and all my mass markets of this series are going to my cousin. Because she likes James Patterson too and she asked when I replaced them if she could have all of my mass markets. That's all I got for this month. Check with you guys later in the next fun box. Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, I just woke up, so <laughs> pardon how I look. I'm gonna go now. But, I have some book mail to unbox, so I thought I'd end it. It, and that way I could put it away and kind of keep my book a little bit more organized. The next one I got from Thrift Boots, which will either replace one of these mass markets up here, I can open it. Ooh, I got the third one. Roll these. I got third degree by James Patterson, which will replace my mass market of third degree. Aw, they changed the color. I like the green. Aw. Oh well. But yeah, because like I said, I'm replacing all my mass markets for the Alex Cross and the Women's Murder Club. With the decks. I've only got two, actually I've got three Women's Murder Club left. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I have nine of the Alex Cross cover. Now let's get into the package from Bonds of Nobles. I know what these are. So I pre-ordered a book. Uh, what is this? Us by Beth D. Albertalli and Adam Silvera. But to get that free shipping, I needed to order other books to get it to that point. Well... I love the first book in this series so much. Ugh. Why can't I get this open? I loved... Yep, that's what these are. I loved the first book in this series so much. I wanted to get books two and three. Granted, I'm going to need to replace the book that I have so I have a matching set. But, I got P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. And Always and Forever by Jenny Han. Oh, Always and Forever Lord Jean by Jenny Han. I freaking loved To All the Boys I Loved Before, which is normally not something I would pick up. I don't really do fluffy contemporaries unless they're LGBT oriented. But they're just so good. It was just so good and I wanted to know more about Peter and uh, Laura Jean's relationship. 
But yeah. But I need to get the other two all the boys I love before cover because I have the movie cover, which doesn't really match the spines. But oh well. But I still have the full series now. Which, if you haven't read To All the Boys I Love Before, I suggest it. If you haven't seen the movie, check that out. It's really good. Yep, that's all I've got today, and I just wanted to get on here and share my new love. Some new packages, and I'll be back with the next unboxing in this vlog style unboxing book haul. Boop. Boop. Hi guys, and welcome back. Um, let me move some things. Whatever. I'll put this in. Um, it's a little bit different angle, but I just got back from helping a friend go get tested. Um, so, and I have packages. Two. Unbox. I thought I would go ahead and do it before I go to work. That was the first one. Why did I set this up? In this package, we have one, two, three. So we be in that package. First we have Roses Are Red from James Patterson, which will replace Roses Are Red. No, oh, it doesn't have a cover, but that's okay. I got another one. In my Alex Cross series, my lips are blue, doesn't have a cover. So, pop goes the weasel, which will replace. Pop goes the weasel, which will go my cousin. Goes the weasel there. Tommy Berry, because then we have. Kiss the Girls by James Patterson, which is book number two, which will replace this, which will replace Kiss the Girls. And then we have Fourth of July, which will replace Fourth of July. I'm going to put that in its spot. Now let's get into package number two. Mm. Sorry if I accidentally hit the table and it's so lovely. Mm. It's so much easier. Oh, here it is. Then we have Crossfire, which will replace, this is Crossfire, right? Which will replace Crossfire. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Then we have Jack and Jill, which is Booth 3 Dallas Cross, which will replace 
Jack and Jill. Ooh, and the next one is book one, which is Along Came a Spider, which will replace Along Came a Spider. The Fifth Horseman, which is a paperback that's the same, almost, if not the same size. Really? Why are these tiny little artifacts? Uh, Fifth Horseman. Ooh, and then we have The Big Bad Wolf, which will replace... <sighs> the Big Bad Wolf. Whatever. Mm. Uh. Well, that's all I've got for the unboxings today, cuz. Until the next one. <gasps> Bye! Hi, guys. Pardon how I look. I literally just woke up. So, but I woke up. And I saw I had my Book of the Month package here, so I wanted to unbox it for the first time on my channel, which I really should start doing this more often, so I throw it into this unboxing stuff so I can show you which book I pick and we can read what the bookmark is. Ooh, that is a... I was not expecting it to be purple. Mm. Always comes with this little backing that says Latte Art, a room with a view. Serious weekend vibes. Tag book of the month with your best book photo and we'll repost our favorite. Before we get to double look. This is a bookmark, which always comes like a cute little quote. The quote says, The book is a film that takes place in the mind of the reader. That's why we go to the movies and say, Oh, the book is better. Palo Choloho. And I always like the little message that they have on the inside of their box. Read, love, repeat. I thought that was cute. But the book I chose for October is The Lies We Told by ooh, sorry. The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. It's a thriller. How many pages? Hmm, three or two. I might be able to sleep at this one. Hmm. Purple on the cover. Ha ha ha, spoke upon. <clears throat> the highly acclaimed author of Watching Eddie returns with a new novel of dark psychological suspense that explores how those closest to us have the most to hide. A daughter. Beth has always known there was something strange about her daughter, Hannah. The lack of emotion, the disturbing behavior, the apparent delight in hurting others. Sometimes Beth is scared of her and what she could be capable of. A son. Luke comes with the perfect family, with the perfect parents. But one day he disappears without a trace. And his girlfriend Claire is desperate to discover what happened to him. A life built on lies. As Claire digs into the past, she realizes that no family is truly perfect and uncovers a link between Luke's long-lost sister and a strange girl named Hannah. Now Luke's life is in danger because of the lies once told and the secrets once kept. Can Clara find him before it's too late? Sounds amazing. I just love the purple cover. Ignore the alarm in the background because my phone's way over there and I don't feel like getting it. But I just wanted to share my book. 
So I will talk with you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. And welcome back. I've got a another package to unbox. I already know what's inside of it, so I think I've already and I've already grabbed the the book from the shelf. As y'all know I've been trying to replace my um Alex Cross and Women's Murder Club with Hardback. What do they have? Like cheap as I can get them, yeah, yada yada. And this is Hope to Die. I've already grabbed the paperback. So I'm replacing the hardback with the paperback, which I've read the hardback when I received it from the library. So and this is the part of the series and I'm like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so just wanted to unbox it. And I just woke up so my thing is this is I'm gonna put this on my shelf. And I'm gonna go back to bed. Because I'm tired. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I ended up going out with a friend today, shopping around. We went to a few thrift stores and stuff. And I ended up bringing home two books. Spent four dollars from Goodwill. I thought I'd unbox them and show you guys what I got. First I got In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware which I've been getting recommended Ruth Ware a lot lately and I heard this one something about an old man in the woods it's very creepy ominous and I'm all about that and it was only a dollar ninety nine and it's in almost perfect condition so I thought why not grab it and for that price, why not? And if I like it, I'll check out more Ruth Ware. And then, this is a book that I don't know if you guys will be excited about. Ooh, I don't like that sticker. I didn't recognize the sticker. Ew. The sticker from like another store, but whatever. But I got Devoted in Death by J.D. Robb. Which will go with my um, In Death series over there, which I'm trying to collect. This one being. Let's see what number this one is. Do, 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 do. Devoted. Wow. This is book number 41. Well. There's 59 in the series because there's like 7 7.5, 12.5, 17.5, 22.5, 25.5, 27.5, 29.5, 31. But it's labeled book 41, so can't wait to get to it. All I know is it's got a knife and a violin and a tattoo on it. Cover. I don't really want to read the synopsis of these because... I'm planning an in-depth read-along, not next year, but the next year, so I ha I'm giving myself a year and the rest of this year to collect all 59 books. If I can get them all in hardback, that'd be freaking bombastic. If not, oh, I didn't even realize that's such a pretty color. But yeah, I just got back. I'm going to eat me some bagels. I made me some bagels. Some blueberry bagels. And I'm gonna watch something and then I'm probably going to try to do a readathon tonight. A 24 hour readathon. Because I'm a little behind on some books. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Morning, guys. I've got another package here. 
Friday Rift Dead and stuff to unbox for you guys and show you what I got from Book Depository. I ordered the other two book shots, which by the way, this is a book shot for, I ordered the Women's Murder Club and the other Alex Cross one, so, from Book Depository, because I wanted to compare the differences between the American and the British, and I wasn't expecting such a thin package, but, and then, let's get everything out of this. Book Depository does the same winner you get little wine voucher which usually I never get to use and I love their bookmarks book besties and they always have your receipts I got the medical examiner which is the other book shot it'll go along with this and the British book shots are taller interesting usually their hardbacks and their paperbacks are slightly smaller that is an interesting thing I wonder it's a little bit shorter than their paperbacks but yeah I just wanted to show you what I got I wanted to see the differences plus just saying 249 pounds 499 US Granted it's equals to be about the same but it just sounds cooler to say 249 pounds but Yeah so That'll go with my woman's murder plan but, Talk to you later My alarm's going off Ugh. Hey guys I just got home from work and I have a package. Ooh, don't want to show my hand My bad, guys. Got a package from Book Depository. Did you open it up and see if it's the... Probably the... Other book shot. Ooh, it is. It is. It is. Ooh. Ooh, pretty colors. Nope. So we got. Do, 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 do we have the receipt? Another pink one. Book depository. Send me a different color. A wine voucher. And Detective Cross. Oh, it's so Pretty. Oh, and this one. Ooh, it's got private gold in it. Uh, da 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 It is 131 pages. So I have got all the Alex Cresses until the next one comes out. <laughs> so it goes with. The other one, which again is taller. I don't know how I feel about that. I may just have to start getting. I just really love that cover though. Hmm. Yeah. Yay! Just wanted to unbox it. Now I'm gonna go get changed because still in my work clothes. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. Got another unboxing. This time for a free book because I had enough to get a free book. And I've been very curious about this book. So I thought I'd go ahead and pay the shipping for the 99 stamps and get it technically for free. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. It looks so good in good condition. 
I've been hearing a lot of people on booktube Ooh, that's an ugly color. Talking about this book, so I got the spell book of the Lost and Found. As y'all know, with right there, from there to there to there, I'm obsessed with witch books. So, why not? I've heard a lot of good things about this. And all I know is. There's a lot of people by the name of flowers like rose and olive and laurel and hazel and ivy and rowan and apparently a tattered handwritten spell book falls into their lives with these six teenagers changes everything the spell book is full of charms to conjure back that which has been lost and it lists a part of each of them to play in the calling. It might be their best chance to set everything back to rights, but only if they're willing to pay the price. I've heard really good things and I'm super excited and to get a hardback for free in this good of condition. The only problem is this ugly burnt orange. It's not a color you typically see. But you know, not mad about it. Can't wait to get to this one. I may try to squeeze this one into Witch's Song. But yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. That's all I got for today. For this update. Talk to y'all later. Bye. I'm back. But instead of an unboxing, I got an unbagging. <laughs> I went to a library book sale and I purchased all these for like a dollar or fifty cents. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you guys what I got at the thing and add it in this unboxing vlog. Which, it was really cool that I got some of these, because, yeah. Let us start with, let me move these two out of the way and get to Dorothy. First off, I got Life's a Witch by Brittany Gargotelis. Sorry if I butchered your name. Yeah. Apparently a book two in a series, but this is a witch series that I've been really looking into and I really wanted to read it. So, for a dollar, I said fuck it. So, fuck it. I also got the first book in a series called The Iron Witch by Karen Mohani. Mohuni. I really need to learn how to pronounce these people's names before I, like, mention their book. But, like, you can see on her arm, the tattoo that she apparently gets made out of iron. Oof. More witch books. Okay. Next, we got a book that I saw... Uh, after I purchased it, I saw that Connor... From Connor O'Brien? I think that's his... Uh... Channel name? Something like that? Had rated this a five star, and I'm so... So happy I got it. Got a new middle grade called Wolf Brother by Michelle Pover. It is the first book in the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness. And we all know this cover is stunning. And I also, you pulled the word wolf in a title or put a wolf on the cover. And everyone knows I'm there. I haven't got a lot of purple books and this is just pretty. But you'll notice a trend in this thing of purple books. Thanks to my friend Chantel. Robin. <laughs> we'll do that one in the end. Alright, two more books. Next is one called um, Passion Aries by Tanya Hurley. Uh, total cover buy. But I guess I can do that for a dollar. Because this cover is 
stunning. Thought it was a skull at first. Then you see a sword. Then you see these guitars and more swords and roses. And like ravens. Like, let's just state this is a fucked up cover. I want to know what this is about. And all it says on here, which by the way, these end pages are stunning. But literally, all it says in here is three girls have been rescued by a mysterious stranger. But did they need to be saved or will they save us all? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, seriously. But I was like, for a dollar, might as well take a chance. Um, all y'all know that I'm trying to collect all 48 books in this series. Which, I think I just gave away by saying 48 books. But I got Salvation and Death to go with my in-depth series way back here. Which happens to be purple, too. Purple, purple, purple. Purple. Like, seriously. Okay, and next I got the... Yes, this is missing a dust jacket. But don't care. It's the book I've been wanting to read, which is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. And the reason why I grabbed this is because I bought the audiobook from there for a dollar too. Because they had audiobooks. And, uh, duh, I was going to grab it. Uh, yeah. And the last item I got that I was super excited to find was the audiobook to Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. It's just going to go on my J.K. Rowling shelf. And yeah. So that's my haul from this. And I will see y'all later when I got more books to unbox or to share with you. Deuces. See you later. Hi, guys. Um, I know you saw both these books in my Owlcrate unboxing, but... I thought I would add them to this because they're books that I got this month, so why not? I'm not going to discuss too much about them because I talked about them in the other one, and yada yada. The first one I got, the ma I just leave the matching bookmarks on there, is Pride by Abiza, a B the Boy. Let me see if I can spell that right. With the gorgeous in pages which I'm going probably to get I'm going to probably give this to one of my best friends who is obsessed with Pride and Prejudice because this is a Pride and Prejudice retelling and I feel like she would benefit more from this because I'm more of an Emma fan than Pride and Prejudice and if I end up want, wanting the book if I end up wanting to read it and stuff like that I'll just borrow it from her um, because it sounds really interesting. If I ever read Pride and Prejudice, I'll definitely want, if I like Pride and Prejudice after I read it, because I am planning on reading some of the, um, Jane Austen books, starting with Emma, hopefully at the end of this year. But, yeah. This cover's just gorgeous with the raised edges. And the one that I'm most excited about, which is the Outcrate exclusive cover, because I've been really wanting to read this one, is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kakawa. Or Kagawa, or however you say her last name. Um, yeah, um, Japanese myth folklore. I'll just read you the back. A fox shapeshifter sworn to hide in mysterious scroll, a secret assassin under orders to kill to obtain it. Hunted by demons, gods, and shadows, their wary bond may break them or alter the course of the world. I'm so excited. Like, this totally gives me Dragon Ball Z vibes, and I've been really wanting to read a Japanese-inspired story, or like an Asian central kind of inspired story. And I just can't wait to check this out. But yeah, that's all I've got. I just wanted to add these to the books that I got this month. <laughs> Catch on the flip side. Hi guys. Um, I don't know when was the last time that I updated on some books that I got in. 
so I've got five more books to talk about um, and I think these will be the last ones that I will uh, put in this October vlog I kind of plan on going to the thrift shop tomorrow but there's like only like one book I'm going there for because a friend showed it to me and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you'll see it but that's beside the point so the first two books that I got to share with you I got in a book exchange box um, on Facebook I'm part of a group called SAMB the fans of Adriana Mather books and every like so often we do some book exchanges especially with holidays I send like I would send her a package and she would send me not Adriana but like like I sent Emily a package she sent me a package I sent her quite a bit of books because it's me I sent her the Diviner series I sent her Carrie and I sent her some like bookmarks and stuff she sent me two books some boas some very Halloween-y type stuff that are like all throughout my new gorgeous like witch card but I thought I'd mention the two books here the first book she sent me was Nice Girls Don't Have Fangs by Molly Hi Harper and what I gather from this is it's going to be a typical paranormal romance which I love those normally I prefer werewolves but this one sounds really good um on the cover it says she's a librarian with a long shelf life a librarian vampire um hello yes um it's the first book in the does the series have a name don't remember if the series has a name oh well all I know is it's about a girl named Jane Jameson uh, she was a children's library librarian sorry um, something about her getting fired and then like no she doesn't get fired but she's a children's librarian and she gets mistaken for a deer and shot and left for dead on the way home and thanks to the mysterious stranger she met while chugging neon colored cocktails she wakes up with a decidedly unlady like thirst for blood i've been in the mood for a new vampire book and i really hope this satisfies what i'm looking for and this other one she sent me not typically a book I would have like gravitated towards but it sounds really good it's called Vienna by William S. Kirby um I know it's based off of inspired by the Arthur Conan Doyle Vienna story um something about a fashion model Justine Aim has never experienced anything like the wave of emotions that sweep over her the first time she sees Vienna. Not the city. An extraordinary young woman whose luminous eyes strike Justine to the core. Justine never been attract never has never been attracted to a woman before. She's left a string of broken mal hearts behind her, but she's never met anyone like Vienna before. A savant Vienna finds much of the world confusing and disorienting, taking refuge in routine and finding comfort in patterns. Her memory is a prestige, prodigious yet holds bizarre gaps, which have eaten most of her past. 
She's never met anyone like Justine, a supermodel, sought for her artistry and intelligence as much as her beauty. Uh, Vienna insists that the antique mannequin Justine is posing with is different, though it looks exactly the same as it always does to everyone else. Despite their brief acquaintance, Justine trusts Vienna entirely, especially once the murders start. That sounds fucking good. So I'm going to say it's a female-female romance, which I don't read a lot of. And I feel like I'm a very bad gay, gay guy. But then again, let's be honest. I prefer male on male, not female on female. But this just sounds intriguing. And I've been thinking about, like, maybe in December doing a try a chapter tag with some of the books that people have gotten me. And I was thinking about throwing this into it. Sounds really good. Okay. The next three books I got today. This first one I got at Barnes & Nobles. So there's a whole story along with this. Let's just say I pre-ordered this book. The signed edition. Well, apparently they ran out of signed editions. So instead of telling me, they just refunded the money. I probably have mentioned this book quite a bit in these unboxings and stuff for this vlog of the books I've gotten this month. So, instead of trusting them again to just send me this book, I just went to the damn store and bought it myself. And that is one of my most anticipated reads, which has the, one of the weirdest colored spines I've ever seen, but What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Like, this cover is gorgeous. This spine is like this weirdest orange color. And then the book itself is like this weird cream color with blue on the edge. It's such a weird combination, and I love it. Um, all I know is this follows Arthur and Ben, and they apparently meet at a post office. I want to say Ben is at the post office, excuse me, mailing off his ex-boyfriend Stangs, and he meets Arthur, and this is all about a bunch of uh, meet-cutes just meeting up and deciding in the end if it's really meant to be or not. Um, that's all I really want to know going into it. Um, Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Adam Silvera, is two of my all-time favorite authors now. As you can see above me, I own all of their books. Granted, I've technically have only one at read one Adam Silvera so far, and that's because I've read more happy than not because Wendy Spinelli, when I met her at the Oklahoma Teen Book Con last year, when I met my all-time favorite author, but that's neither here nor there, suggested I read it because she thought I would, like, connect with it, which I really did, and it's made me scared to read the other two because I love this one so much, but whatever, I'll get to them eventually. But when I heard Becky Albertalli and Adam Surveiller, Silvera was writing. I need to know who wrote the ending. Did Becky give us the happy-go-lucky ending she gives us in all of her books? Or did Adam decide to shatter us yet again? It's all I need to know. But yeah. And then these next two I found at Walmart. They still have the stickers on them. One of which, I'm kind of happy I didn't buy at Barnes & Nobles today because I don't know, Walmart's a lot cheaper. Because I was originally going to pay full price, which was $20 for this, but I found it for $13.98 with a bonus chapter. Go me. And that is Wind Rider 
which is book three in the Tells of a New World series by PC Cast. I have Moon Chosen and Sun Warrior over there. I've been waiting on this third one to come out because I'm thinking this December. Because for some reason I just feel like these are December reads to me. I would love to tackle these books because I am a huge, huge PC cast fan. PC Cass and her daughter Kristen Cass wrote one of my all-time favorite series, the House of Night series, which y'all have heard me rave about on this channel. But, and all I know about this series is something about shapeshifters? Maybe? Gods of Death? Packs? Horses? Wolves? I don't know. But, can we take a moment and appreciate these stunning freaking covers and this back is even gorgeous and that spine oh like PZ Cass like oh I want to read everything PZ Cass has ever wrote so eventually I will own all of their uh all of her books, but I had found Moon Chosen, which has a wolf on it, which everyone knows is like my go-to thing. You put a wolf on a book, more than likely I'm going to get it. And especially with these stunning covers, um, I may do a video about my, my most beautiful like cover buys that I still haven't read, which I have a few on my shelf these being part of it. And I got Sun Warrior from my friend um, Stacy last Christmas and I like really need to get to these because it's been a year since I've owned them and yeah I just wanted to wait till the third one came out. And then this other one is one of my most anticipated reads of the year too but I've been putting it off and putting it off because it's Normally like twenty six ninety nine. Found out Walmart for eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, boy, I had to get it. There was only three left on the channel, but I needed it. Okay, I didn't need it, but yeah, boy, needed it. You know what I mean. And that is consumed by J R Ward. J R Ward wrote the. Black Dagger Brotherhood, which I still need to finish that series. I kind of want to reread them. I want to see if I can get them all in hardback. Hmm, thrift books. Hmm. But, I am in love. Okay, this is a romance novel. Let me just tell you one of the sexiest things that I I, okay, when you involve a firefighter or fire into a romance, you've got me hooked already. Can we also talk about this stunning cover of the flame that just wraps around the front? Like, yes, please. Um... All I know is this is about, let me just read the thing, it's an adult romance, which I don't read a lot of, unless it's like paranormal, but I will say Blue Smoke by Nora Roberts is like one of my all-time favorite romance novels, and it involves fire and a firefighter, and like, those just seem like a good combination, and I want to say this is book one of a series, but don't quote me on that. And I also don't see a lot of people talking about it. Like, this cover though. Okay, back to the synopsis. Let me read you the synopsis. Actually, I'm just going to read you this little tidbit at the top because that's really all I want to know. International best-selling phenomenon J.R. Ward, like you, have never experienced 
like you have never experienced her before. Presents a blazing new thriller featuring an arson investigator hunting down a deadly serial killer setting fires throughout her hometown. So it's a thriller and romance. What? Okay, you've hooked me even more. Um, there's a really hot bad boy. Um, fire. She's a firefighter. The other one's also a firefighter. Oh my god. Get ready for a new band of brothers and a firestorm. Oh my god! And it's such a smooth map. It's so pretty. Just stare at it. I have a thing about fire. Even though I'm a water sign and water and air are like my elements. I am intrigued by fire. Of its destructive nature and everything like that. Let's see what it looks like naked. Now just plain black with gold on the sides. Hmm. Oh well. Again, that cover. But yeah, I think though this is where I'm going to end this wrap up. Wrap up these vlog style unboxings. If you guys liked what I did here, let me know in the comments down below. If you didn't, if you'd rather me just sit and talk about every book that I've gotten this month. Um, I know I didn't go into full detail on a lot of them. But a lot of times, I like to go in a lot of books kind of blind. You can give me an author, a cover, a tidbit of the synopsis. And I'm like, girl, I'm there. Um, but yeah. So if you liked this kind of video, um, hit that like button button and if you're new here hit that subscribe and let me know your thoughts if you've read any of these books before if there's any books on this thing I know a lot of them were my James Patterson's for the Women's Murder Club and the Alex Cross series for different things <clears throat> excuse me and um, if you liked this let me know if you didn't like it let me know um give me your thoughts down below um I guess that's all I've got for you guys. Um, remember kids, reading is what's fundamental. Until next time, happy reading guys.